Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with horse racing tips for Friday the 16th of August. Well, a bit of a non-event really for Thursday. Um, I, fancied, I fancied the selections obviously, but um, the, Premier, the horse called Premiership um, never ran a race. And in my opinion, it was never due to run its race on Thursday because... It, it never runs like that. It was um, it wasn't quite pressing the leaders, but it had a what well, it had a wide trip. Um, it chased a very fast pace where the leaders just capit capitulated with two furlongs to go. Um, it did the same. I think it finished off pretty much tail tailed off last. Uh, that horse has not been running like that. I think that was just a prep race for another one. Maybe a later race um, at Pontefract or what I will do is I'll go through the the horse called Premierships um, form and see if it's probably. Been, Possibly be an aim for a race towards the back end of the year. So let me get into it. So it's it's just a fiver on Friday because just give me one second. Um, it's just a fiver because I don't like the racing. I don't get good vibes for it. I've had a quick look round and um, I basically just stuck to Wolverhampton. So what I've gone for is a ten pence each way lucky fifteen and a pound each way accumulator. I picked three selections that aren't particularly massive prices, but I've gone for one that's, um, I think it's what well, it's currently the outside of the lot. So if that runs well or gets placed, then we've got every chance of getting the accumulator up. The horses I've gone for are in relatively competitive races, but that's not an excuse already. That's I'm just letting you know in advance. So let me get into it. So, as I said, it's a 10 pence each way, lucky 15, and a pound each way accumulator comes to a five in total. So the first selection is Charlotte's Web in the 225 at Wolverhampton. There is a form line where this horse has already beat the one of John Gosden's. However, John Gosden's was making its debut that day. However, Charlotte's Web was 6-4 to four that day. And I think um, there's, there's better still to come from this horse. It's got a low draw and I think if it, if it races prominently, it could kick on around that final bend at Wolverhampton while... A lot of the other horses are still jostling for position. Um, it's from uh, quite powerful owners, uh, Rabar, Rabar Racing. I am a fan of the jockey, sorry, well, trainer and jockey. It's uh, Simon Crisford and his son, and I do believe it's Harry Davis as well. So I like the form of the horse. I like the jockey and I like the trainer. So it's um, several ticks, ticks in the right boxes. The second selection is White Umbrella. In the three o'clock at Wolverhampton, paying four places instead of three. This horse has also got a low draw. It should, in my opinion, sit right behind the pace. It was running very well on the all weather on, up until it was switched to the um, to the turf. It returns back to the all weather, which is also Wolverhampton as well, where, where it's been running. Um, I do believe this horse is very difficult to say it's it's not going to run well because it left this track in good form the last time it ran. Um, it's only run on the turf recently, not not done a great deal, don't go wrong, it was only disappointing last time. Um, before that, it's been running quite well, even on the turf. The third selection is Double the Trouble, at 28 to 1, in the 3.35, at Wolverhampton, paying three places instead of two. As I said, this is the outsider of the lot in this race. This horse also ran poorly last time. If you put a complete line through that form... Um, and forget about it. Well, it's been running very well off higher marks. It even ran well. I think it was off of 61 last time um, over two mile. If this horse, and it's also ridden by Sylvester D'Souza, if this horse gets a relatively easy lead, or a really easy lead, um, it could be quite difficult to pass because, or if, should I say, not an easy lead, if it gets to dictate the pace, if you know what I mean, because... It's been running over further, so it might want to kick on with a long way to go and really stretch them out. But I think 28 to 1 in a horse that likes the track, stays a distance with a decent jockey on board, 28 to 1 with three places, I think it's worth a shout. And then final selection is Ancient Times in the 10 past 4 at Wolverhampton, paying three places instead of two. I think it's got a chance. It's trained by Harry Eustace. Harry Eustace, I don't think he's quite got going with his training career yet. It, yeah, don't get me wrong, he's had some nice winners, but I think um, I think it will come good. 
obviously probably more next year than this year now but he's a trainer on the rise and i do like the look of this horse in what is it's a fairly competitive race for the grade but um yeah it should be it should be prominent throughout and i think it's got a decent chance so i appreciate all the likes all the subscribes the extra, sub, sub, ugh, the extra subscribers this this video is um in portrait on my phone sorry landscape on my phone can't even get that right we're only a 50 50 shot <laughs> this, this this is obviously in um, landscape now i'm not quite sure how to upload it as landscape so unfortunately you might be watching this sideways so i'll get that fixed for um next time if i if i do it the same kind of way so if you give me a like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it i look forward to seeing everybody saturday where i'm probably going to get stuck into it a bit saturday and it's also the return of the football oi, oi. so the very best of luck charlie winters over and out. Cheers, mate.